So we have left Skye and we're on our way back down to Glencoe for a few days and uh, just doing a few roadside locations on the way down because there's lots of lovely viewpoints. Just pulling over at uh, various different locks. So this is Loch Loin, L-O-Y-N, uh, and we're coming from north to south. And we've just got to the end of it and there's a little place to pull over. So I thought I'd uh, get the camera out and take a few photos, see if we can get some nice landscapes down through the uh, locks. And you can hear its roadside location, by the way. But down through the locks, with the mountains in the background. Let's see how it goes. So the second Loch Loin viewpoint is about a mile up the road from where we've originally stopped and it's actually uh, it's marked on Google Maps. So you park in one of the um, laybys. We just walked up through the boggy heather but actually there is a path on this side, on the south side of this little mound. But climb up and you get a lovely view over the loch with the mountains behind. You're going to need a longer focal length here. I'm brought my 24 to 70 up and I'm shooting at 70. So 70 to 200 or 300 lens up here would be perfect to try and cut out all of this nonsense in the foreground and then focus on the lock going to the mountains in the back. But just waiting for the sun to come over the mountains a little bit to get a night. It's actually coming over now, go. So, see what it looks like. So I've stopped at another roadside viewpoint. I think it's called Loch Locky, or Loch McLocky Face, something like that. I'll have to double check. But it's, it's all right, it's not an amazing location. But you can get down onto the shores of the loch from the car park, which is literally just there. And um, <clears throat> you can get a bit low down, do some long exposures. On a windy day, you get a bit of movement on the water. Um, shoot down the lock, there's a nice little house there as a sort of mid-ground subject into the background. Um, so, let's see how it goes. I'm not thinking anything special because the, the conditions aren't great at the moment. It is just like grey cloud, not even any sort of sunlight popping through, but we'll see what happens. Hello again. So today we're at Castle Stalker, well, this morning at least. You can see just up the path behind me is my car. And it's a very short walk down to what we're going to be shooting this morning. So my car's parked behind a pub called the Old Inn in Appin. I think it's called Appin. And uh, we can just walk down to the coastline here where we can see this beautiful castle that's just sat up on a little mound within the lock. I'm just going to jump through this bush. Come out the other side. I'm going to stand on this little bench and give you a look at the castle. Check that out. So there's a few spots we can go and take photos here apparently. There's a there's an elevated viewpoint at a cafe back up the road a little. 
But if we get down onto the, the shore, past these sheepies, um, there's a couple of uh, good little viewpoints. Apparently there's some uh, in front of the boathouse, there's some leading lines going down. We can maybe get some long exposure over some rocks at the front. So yeah, I'm gonna go down and have a play and see what I can capture. Okay, so we're here about 20 minutes before low tide and there's a lot of seaweed underfoot at the moment. And um, so I found the boat tracks. I'm making my way towards the end of them at the moment. Um, you can use these as a leading line in. There's also a little boat there. Might try and see if I can move around a bit and get that boat in in a short, long exposure. Uh, if that even makes sense. Yeah, a couple of seconds so it doesn't bob around too much on the, uh, on the water. Uh, maybe try and use some of these rocks. Um, see what else is about, see if I can make anything out of that boulder maybe. Give it a go. But this definitely smells like the sea. If you enjoyed this content, I'd really appreciate a like, a comment, let me know what you thought, or even a subscribe. Until next time, thank you.